I felt sick one morning in the office and I decided to go home and quarantine myself just to be safe, just to stay away from my coworkers. The following day I got a COVID test just again to make sure I didn't have COVID. I decided to work from home the rest of the week. I felt like crap the first two, three days and then I started feeling better later on in the week and I decided to film my work day. So I took this opportunity to do a day in the life but I won't show you my waking up montage, though I typically wake up at 4.45 in the morning. I get to the office around 6 a.m. and I leave around 3 p.m. So I work an eight hour workday. Once I get in the office, I'll get some coffee, read my emails, and make a current day agenda in my notebook. I'll list the task I need to do that day and add more items that come up. We have morning meetings about what the shop needs and what are urgent matters, typically multiple items. And since a lot of people work from home, we have a lot of Zoom or Microsoft team meetings. These are just your typical meetings to make sure everyone's good, everything's running smoothly at the facilities. Once the meetings are done, I'll start on my list of tasks to do. So I looked up parts to add or revise to our bill of materials. I'll do research on systems and gain as much knowledge as I can. Along the way, asking for help from my colleagues if I'm unsure about things, which is oftentimes because I'm still learning new systems. We do some electrical work, making harnesses in-house, drawings, revising the drawings, sending them out to quote to our suppliers. We'll also make new designs on systems if we have time to work on them. But really what I get to do on a daily basis is work with trucks. I get to work with trucks with a great team of engineers and technicians. and I'm very lucky that I get to use the skills I learned in college because some people can't say they use what they learned in school. We use 3D scanning to get reference models and make drawings for them if needed. We're in analysis using FBA and 3D modeling to help with designs. Rapid prototyping to make sure our designs will work and watch the entire design process taught in school translate it into real world. There's a joy fulfilling seeing your designs on the computer come to life. Now as a process engineer, I don't get as much time using CAD as I did being a design engineer, but when I do get to use CAD, I enjoy modeling so much that sometimes I don't even notice the hours that have flown by. There are some days when I'm behind my desk all day working on CAD and clerical items, and when I need to step away from my desk to give my eyes a break, I can go on the floor and work on other tasks on my list. So I get to enjoy both aspects of hands-on and desk work. So my main goal as a process engineer is to help make my colleagues' jobs easier. So whatever they need, I'll get it done. For example, if they need some part because we ran out of inventory or it's a brand new design, I'll make it for them in CAD, burning out on our torch mate, grind the slag off the part, prep it for paint, and let them have the finished part to complete the truck. Other days I'll be working with someone else improving our installation process, troubleshooting wiring issues, or other subsystems on the truck. It depends on the day and what new task has come up. Though as an engineer, I can never get away from CAD. Even when I think my designs are finished, there's always room for improvements and revisions. And once those revisions are made, we need to make sure our team knows what's changed for clarity. That way, our buying team knows which parts to order for the next project. Now, because I work for a smaller company, my colleagues and I wear multiple hats. This makes it challenging because we have to learn multiple subsystems, whereas at a larger company, you may be more localized on a subsystem and hone in on your skills. But once we learn that system, it's that much more rewarding because we came to a solution as a smaller team. So it just depends on the day, but generally speaking, our job is to make the process of a system flow as easy as possible. I hope this was enlightening as far as what a mechanical, automotive, process engineer does. Because when I was interested in engineering, I didn't really know what an engineer did. I had somewhat of an idea, but not the full grasp of it. And even this video, it's not gonna give you a full understanding of what engineers do, but it'll give you better insights than what I was given. I hope this inspired some people to go after engineering, but you have to have somewhat of a passion for it. And if you do have that passion, working is actually fun. If you found value in this content, give it a like and share it around. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.